It is that time. We are in the car. And we have a couple of questions. Fantastic. The Fire first away, one. Tobes. The first one. Yes. After we test drove the Tesla, it sprung to mind. Is it wasn't that fun. That was good fun. That, that was, was good fun. fun. <laughs> is Australia ready for electric cars? Is Australia ready for electric cars? This question I get asked so often. Are we ready? Are we not? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And I remember going to Europe two years ago, and I was in, um, I was in the Netherlands, and I jumped into a taxi, and it was a Tesla, and I couldn't believe it because at the time Teslas were exorbitantly expensive over here. And I was just talking to the taxi driver because there's so much space in the front and the back boot and things. They're the perfect taxi, and they're very cheap to run. Now we were talking about superchargers and and, and where where we can charge and things like that and he showed me through the map in Europe and he showed me through the map of the Netherlands which is, I don't know, the size of Victoria and there was something like 400 odd um, superchargers in the Netherlands and then he scrolled on this massive screen down to Australia where he, he zoomed in on Australia and in the whole place there were seven superchargers this is two years ago. This was July 2016. And at the time I was being asked the same questions. Are we ready? And we weren't ready. I feel as though now we're up about 30 superchargers. It's becoming more mainstream. Um, the home charging networks are a lot more efficient. Um, and the, the, the price of plugging it into your own wall at home has come down significantly. You're looking at filling a full charge battery up at about $15 a, uh, a charge. Um, it all then begs the question, are you efficient enough to charge things? Everyone would say yes, except I know my wife, and my wife has a charger in every room, in every car for her iPhone. Everywhere we've got chargers, and her phone runs out of batteries every day without, equ without equivocation. So I, are we ready? I think most of us are getting there. I think most of us are there. Um, it's, it's up in the air. I think another year or two, and it will be a genuine market share in this electric car market. So Luke, what about you? Are you going to buy an electric car anytime soon? Let's put, let's put, put the spotlight on, hasn't it? I love change. I was in the Tesla and it was it was a lot of fun going so fast so so fast forward um, but then I did jump into my car and we were driving <laughs> very accurately we were driving in this little bridge and I slammed my foot down and my exhaust made this almighty raucous sound and it put a smile on my face if I look back at the videos of the cars I've reviewed and they've got big exhaust it puts a smile on my face I Oh, it's very borderline for me. Am I going to buy one? I probably will. Not just quite yet, though. <clears throat> All right, so we have known each other now for a couple of months. Yes. And we're getting to know each other a lot better. And the one thing that I've learnt about you so far is that you're very good at networking and talking to people. And that got me thinking, you know, I feel like I'm okay at it. But what does that mean in business? Is it is it important to be able to network and talk to people in business? Can you, you know? Do you need to make friends in business? Ooh. Okay, straight off the bat, I wasn't blessed with an engineering mind where I could come up with some piece of tech and develop it and 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 make a dollar that way. I, I just don't have that sort of mind. If you do, great. I'm I'm not going to come up with the next Facebook. Um, I enjoy talking to people. It's, it's just one of those things that uh, it's a skill, I suppose, I've developed out of passion. Um, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy learning from people. I think that's the that's the key point for me. And that's whether I'm in business, whether I'm talking sport, whether I'm talking family, friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. People around me. Um, I'm very curious. I enjoy listening to new technology. I enjoy listening to. Um, why you flew home to see your brother in the UK. Um, I'm, I'm interested in these things and, and the reason why. I'm interested in humans. Um, I'm interested in the mindsets and what makes people successful and what makes people uh, successful in business and successful in life. They're both, they're both, they're both run very, very parallel in my, in my eyes. Um, is networking a good thing in business? Do you have to be, you don't have to be friends with everybody, no, but there's, there's too much joy 
in the world to worry about negativity and that's in business in personal um, I soon iron out negativity from my uh, mindset and from my diary I suppose I enjoy surrounding myself with 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 good people and listening to good stories and um, that's business that's personal it's, it's, it's all very similar to me so networking for what I do is vital and that what I do is I live my life and I learn from people business no business is a bit of a um, it's a bit of a funny answer, I suppose, but they're, they're, they're just what stri pop straight into my mind. Um, networking, stroke, speaking to people and learning from is just, if you don't do it, then you're missing out.